Hi, my name is Warren Blythe, and I work for Natural Point, where we develop optical motion tracking devices for a variety of uses. Here, I'm going to give you a run through of what our Track IR game controller brings to the table and what it means to put your head in the game. The Track IR sensor sits up on your monitor at about head level, and uh, all it can see is infrared light. So, all it sees are these three IR bulbs on my headset. These can mount onto any headset, or if you just don't wear headsets, you can clip three reflectors onto any hat brim. That. We have patented math that takes these three points and captures true 3D motion with full six degrees of freedom. And what that means is that I can lean left and right and up and down and in and out while I'm rotating with yaw and pitch and roll. So all the ways I can move in 3D space. That's what six degrees of freedom means. As you can see, when I'm moving the view around, it's amplified. So I can see completely behind myself without having to look away from my monitor. And I can adjust this for any of the movements that I'm doing. And this is key, this is called motion scaling. So the point of it is that I don't have to get up out of my chair and do giant crazy motions and get all athletic for the sensor to pick me up. It's precise enough to tap into the tiny little motions that I already perform when I'm playing a game or looking around my monitor. Uh, this is what makes it so intuitive is that I don't have to think about what key presses to use or how to use my hands to control my eyes. I can just use my head movement to control my eyes. But you'll have to try it to really appreciate it. So we have special support built into over 70 titles so far. And this is Microsoft's Flight Simulator. It's kind of been our killer app for the last few years. It's easy for me to keep my eyes on different things in the cockpit. And my hands, are, again, are, are running the controls. but. I can zoom in and find controls that I may not have been able to see before, and I can click them. Uh, or I can lean up and over my dash and get a better sense of the orientation of my plane, which helps a lot when I'm coming in for a landing. Also, if I'm flying along and a strut is in the way and I want to see what's behind it, I don't have to slowly turn my entire plane to see what's there. I can just lean around the strut. In racing titles like Image Space Incorporated's R Factor, I can look into turns, so as I'm whipping around corners, I have a much better sense of how well I'm following the optimal racing line. Plus, as opponents try to sneak past me, I can look over and see how close I'm getting to them without having to switch outside my car in the third person view. In R Factor here, the mirrors are actually rendering in a 3D view based on where my head is at. So, again, it's much more immersive. So these are examples of the things that racing and flight simmers have enjoyed for years now. What's new in 2007 is first-person shooters. The developers at Bohemia Interactive made a game called Operation Flashpoint a few years back, and Armed Assault is the spiritual successor. So when I use Tracker with Armed Assault, I can look away from where my gun is pointed. So I can keep my gun and my body trained on an objective and look around to see if anyone is sneaking up on me. Also, I can run up to a corner and easily lean around it without exposing my entire body. And as you can see, when I lean around here, there are special animations happening, just showing how my virtual hands are holding my gun. That's pretty cool. In multiplayer, this is what you'll see. Uh, anyone will be able to see where a tracker user is looking, so we get the benefits of nonverbal communication. My squad leader tells me to go over there. I can just nod at him. I don't have to type anything. I don't have to break radio silence. So that'll be huge to the tactical teamwork crowd. These are all um, just examples of how Tracker is evolving the way we control games. We're not trying to replace the keyboard or the mouse or the joystick. We know the world loves them, and we love them too. We're just trying to add something new on top of them that brings your head into play. And we're sure to see new cool things as the word spreads, so please spread the word. Uh, I should also mention Natural Point is going to have a booth at the Game Developer Conference again this year, where you can check out Tracker. And you can also see OptiTrack, which is our new motion capture system. It's going to cost less than five grand and should hopefully disrupt the motion capture market a bit. But we're going to have a separate private meeting room just to meet with game developers and press and joystick and headset manufacturers. In there, we're going to be talking about other genres we're getting into, like football and role playing and music based rhythm games. And we're also going to show off some new technology that's kind of our answer to the Wii controller. So if you want to see what's coming soon, please contact us today and set up a meeting.